These are the last two, three parts about the city's Girsh. Uh, everything I have suggested is what I'm going to end. Now I'm going to clarify again what exactly was identified. This is very important because this is right around the police station. And I'm about to explain in continuation just how important, why this stuff is so important, okay? Right in front of the police station seems just about the worst things happen. And it's right around the police station that the whole thing can be exposed as to be or not to be. Uh, what is to be and what is not to be. The bus that you see right there, I was told about they're going to put one in there. It's used as a form of threat against me. This bus has been there already for quite some time. It's something new that has been used through the Google, and it's again related to the police. So the stuff that they are doing, they pretty much are sticking to the MK Ultra scenario. That's yet another minus for the Polish police. Let's go. We're going to go right now and see this area right in front of the police station that was identified one way or the other. That's a Zorlog shop that you see right there. This is just a store where I obtained information about one, but this is right in front of the police station. You see the hairdresser right there? I took the credit for, I am going to confirm this. And you see another business right next to the hairdresser for which I have taken the credit for, it no longer exists. I'm going to take the credit, of course, for both of them, for all of them. It's also, the little store I have suggested, Trafika, this is also another one I have identified. So there's already four other businesses I took the credit for and I attempt to defend my claims with audio recordings. Another shop right there that you see on the left side is an alcohol shop. I did not took the credit for, but I am going to take the credit for. I went a little too far, go back because I was absolutely correct about. And this is the stuff that is right in front of the police station that is the most touchy one to me. So we're talking about, what, already five businesses here, additional businesses. I have not completely... Information was obtained right from the bakery shop across. I have not completely uh, declared these businesses. And then there is yet another one here, it's known as a Tesco store, a big Tesco store. I took the credit for, and I'm going to also apologize how I took the credit for, right next to the counter, the money exchange, why all the setups took in this police street, in a main area. And then what I do is, to go a little bit beyond and do something crazy, crazy, crazy. I actually go after the business that existed in 2003, 2004. And as I go down the road in search for that business, I learn a lot of other things. A lot of other memories are triggered in me. Consequently, I identify yet another business by describing one, basically. This is a business that existed in 2003 and was closed in 2004. This is very important for me, 2003, 2004. This is like the most important stuff to me. Not this headdress or not. The one next to is the one that also was identified. Identified. So these are yet another two businesses. That adds the number to entire six extra businesses. And I'm still on the lookout after the business that existed in 2003, 2004. However, which even building no longer exists, but I still remember where the business is located at and who worked inside of that business, and I eventually get the confirmation from the lady that comes by and confirms my claim about previously existing business, and I also identify yet another business. This is a chimney man, gentleman that cleans chimneys, 
and was always based in this building here. He had the business here already since from forever, chimney business, cleaning chimneys. I cannot come across right there. Google would not let me go through, but I find a way around. And here it is. As the gentleman, the chimney, or a chimney man, could not tell me about this business, the lady that went by did confirm the business that three ladies worked here. And in a building which no longer exists. So this is quite extraordinary if you can do the stuff like this. The building more or less looked like that, but it was darker and it was a wood-made building entirely in a poor shape and that's why they have demolished one I estimate, I don't know in 2008-2010 I would say In this video documentary, these are the last three parts about my identifying gear it is by far the best one because this is around the police station when it happens around the police station and the police itself is involved then you get a whole idea about basically you get the picture about the whole thing because it involves the people of Zgersh, it involves the police, it involves the politicians in Warsaw uh, it involves Russians, Belarusians and foremost, very important for me, is international society uh, to whom I have to declare, despite my being brainwashed under MK Ultra by the Polish police, as well as in real time, just a few weeks ago when I visited the police station, when I did finally, which is kind of a crazy, huh? That they would not consider your case for so many months and then they call you to the police station and you're finally your case finally is considered and at that opportunity they also try to brainwash and how uh, I should just stick to the facts proofs uh, I should just stick to photos I should just stick to audio recordings I should just stick the stuff that police can consider as a proof uh, basically the same kind of game the same type of play I have seen inside of the immigration center with these people they have stationed in there when they engage like in an indirect stuff it's like basically suggesting me that myself I and police from Zgersh we got nothing in common there is no bond here they are just a neutral party acting uh, within the justice system as any police should they're basically saying that my comments this is what I was told and you could hear that on audio recording that the comments see the officer protested against that the, the comments the stuff that I say these are not really cannot be considered as legitimate proof as a facts in fact MK Ultra, me being a main individual who injustice of losing 24 years of my life have happened uh, is not basically to be considered what as a legitimate proof the stuff that I have to say that involved the police station alone uh, it's what they try to make me feel like it's like well this was just the intention they tried to get across it's basically deselecting me having myself deselect myself and even place myself in front of the international community in a light that would make me probably look as the one guilty in a party they tried it was not only that I was gestured that it's it, it's only the photos it's only the it's only documents audio recordings and stuff like this that can be considered video recordings and so on 
uh, of things just of the damage that that happened but MK Ultra the Polish police insisted on few very very disturbing things they insisted and this is very important for me for international community to understand this stuff they insisted on few very important things here number one was that what I committed under MK Ultra in fact resulted in several in a losses of several lives and several people and that I should see my waste of life in the US in Slovenia and so on just as a form of punishment that I would deserve under other circumstances this is a form of very serious extortion uh, it's a blackmailing it's one of the most disgusting things you possibly can do to someone whose life you have practically ruined you are the reason I have lost 24 years of my life so basically you're telling the victim that he should stick to the facts while at the same time you have even gestured under MK Ultra that I have caused crime when I was subjected to the torture basically and I should basically see myself as a victim as someone that owes to the Poland that someone that owes to the country well this is the feeling that when it comes to that you owe to the country to the people that I think every person should have I have it too I like this country I like this city I love these people here and I would love nothing more than contribute to this society here this is why I stayed here in case you didn't realize that but not because I am guilty I know what it hurts the society I know what was used to hurt not only me but I know what was used to hurt the society and I know what is used to hurt the society in fact break the country apart I do love to contribute in a positive way to this society to this country this is why I'm here there is no doubt about it but I do not owe anybody anything it's this country it's this Poland that opened the door to the Russia to the Belarus where I was severely tortured and it's this country right here that opens to the Russians to the Belarusians to torture me right here in Poland in fact right there around the police station is where I was tortured because of you because of the Zgierz police because of the Polish police I don't owe you, you owe me. You owe me a big time apology, Spell. This is number one thing that we're going to clarify who owes to whom what. Poland is in European Union and it's basically used by the Russians, by the Belarusians, to do the filthy stuff in the Western Hemisphere, including US. That's why I was very angry in the past few days about all this stuff. This is number one thing that we're going to clarify money 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 and eventually me being guilty it's also the stuff that involves border patrol and now I am talking about the immigration located at Watch Airport this is not a Russian station this is not a Russian base just like the police headquarters here in Zgirz and other Russian headquarters police headquarters this is a Poland right here so another question here becomes involves people police politicians and then involves other issues that I have mentioned and when it comes to people the question is the now reduced there undoubtedly are people I can tell you yesterday the gentleman gave me a very good tip in fact he confirmed that there were large presence of Americans and people from other countries at the lake in Grotniki 
where I have explained we have stayed first. At the same time, the lady in which house I was, just maybe five minutes later, gestured me that in 2002, 2003, 4, 5, that I was not in her house, that I don't know her house, and so on. There are wild people and there are good people. Some people have no conscience here in Poland. It's what I call a pedo culture because this is not a secret, you understand? This is not a secret, this is not even your secret. This is the kind of secret that pedophiles would embrace. People that are there rape, corruption, criminality would are there too. And this is not a culture of the civilized world. And then you have another, the largest group of people that are out there to help out, that want to contribute that would love nothing more than to help but it seems to me when i take in consideration the police area the Zgersh headquarters police area that somehow these people were intimidated are scared to come forward fear to say the truth is it because of the russians that will fear to say the truth or is it because of police we're gonna find out soon and I'm talking about the Polish police Polish police suggested all kinds of issues my dear international community they gestured on all kinds of stuff especially if I would turn against them you know all kinds of what it would be it would be it would not be and this and that and tra la 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 including how they have ambushed Russians torturing me in front of the business owners, Polish business owners right here in Zgirsh. Like I said, the truth will soon come out one way or the other. If it's not going to come out in Poland, then it will come out across the border. But the truth will come out. And the important part here is for you to understand that... I am not the one that owes anybody absolutely anything. It's this country, it's this state that owes me apologies. It's this nation here that allowed something very bad to happen. And it's this kind of a culture, this type of top secret, if you want, if you want to call this a secret, that is destroying people of Zgersh and Lodz, Poland itself, as well as international community. This is not the type of culture that should be embraced by anybody anywhere in the world. This kind of secrets should be just leave to the people that are sick people. That's why I call one a pedoculture. This is not, this is not a culture for the nation, for a beautiful Polish nation. And it's this kind of culture, this kind of secrets that produce bigger secrets. Secrets big enough to even consume nations. This is not the way to go. So in the last three hour documentary, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to identify. I have to say I must have, have identified at least 26, 27 businesses. 100% all the way to 2000, two, three, four, five, six, some in 2017 as they were setups. It's not that I identify those 26 businesses all the way back to 2002, between 2002, 2006. The most important part here is that I have managed to prove that uh, there were scenarios, torture scenarios involved in this stuff. This is the most precious part. And for every one of them that was involved, for every single torture scenario that took place, I was able to actually prove one way or the other that what I am talking about was, in fact, a fact. Proszę.
A może zapytać jednak uh, was this store open in 2015, Tesco store, please? Can you tell me? For me, it was just one stop, for sure, 100%. It was 2015, but... Okay, the store you're in, sir, right now, the store that you have seen right in front of the money exchange already exists 10 years. That's why this was so important for the Russians, because of the money exchange specially. So what they want to do is they want to eliminate money exchange type of stuff. Uh, I repeated the same question at the money exchange shop because this is I am shaking completely. I am shaken and equally as I am shaken I am angry because I explained at the end the issue with the police. Uh, a little bit I already did you probably understand but in continuation I'm gonna give a good view on the Polish police on the Polish psychiatry psychology and so on. Because the world has got to understand this thing once and for all. Let's continue. What I'm trying to say is that, what I'm trying to say, I'm going to go straight to this issue, is that since this thing did happen in a street where a police station is, since the police pointed me out even certain things that happened since the police even traced some people and so on you would want to say you would want to say even they assisted you they tried to help you out in some way well this is exactly what is not the case i don't see this as a help i see this as a manipulation and i see this as a way as my saying actually my viewing the whole thing as even as a form of help even as something that it was with good intention something that on in on the court the judge could possibly even get confused about the poland as per being not a bloodthirsty state but in fact a civilized state in fact this was used for the Polish police, for the Polish psychiatry, for the Polish psychologists to manipulate international judicial system into belief that uh, they are more than just manipulators. They are more than just somebody who caused uh, me to lose 24 years on what I have explained at the beginning of this video. Uh, there is something humane about this people and not what I have explained and even the option which they have reserved such as that they would be deciding about my sanity to the last moment through the ordeal which they have orchestrated for the last 10 months. I'm telling you these people these are beasts. Let's continue. Kaczynski is attorney and so is Duda and I'm not sure about the Morawiecki uh, but it's a whole bunch of attorneys they do nothing else but think about the criminal cases like this and so they believe they're gonna pull for the nose international community they're gonna manipulate even with the issues like this.
But for me to get a claim across, I have to be clear and specific about facts and not about what I was brainwashed with under MTR, so could be or could not be and so on. Okay, um, this was a Tesco shop, that's all, uh, that much for Tesco. Now what I want to do, I want to do something else. I want to go to the area I have discussed previously because these are the biggest misunderstanding when I get rid of it. Then for the bonus, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to point out a building where there is now a parking lot instead. Uh, and I will also explain what the business was inside of the building. But that building still existed sometimes in 2002. Some actually not two but 2003 they started to rearrange everything and in 2004 maybe at the end of the 2003 the ladies eventually opened business we will get to that this is the continuation of this um, audio recording but first let's do something else we will continue with as I have promised I would do haircut shop Next to the haircut shop locations, both of them, which I have identified, I have to use them also as a proof. As I said, more than 30 businesses were identified. Uh, maybe, maybe even, I don't know, 33 businesses. haircut shop just as I have promised just as you see it right there in front of the police station uh, 2008 I asked was your store open She said, yes, it was, and she's happy to confirm this. And what about the store next door was spot 2015? Two thousand fifteen was the correct thing. She she tells that store owners in fact changed all the time. So that was very well done. Okay, so this there you have you got two businesses right there, one hundred percent shot. Boom boom boom. And you got this done next to the store in line of the stores where I have identified them all the way to two thousand and four. 2005 and 6. So you see what I did right now. 2008, 100% shot, and another one, 2015, 100% shot. Very impressive, nice. Everything is uh, in this shop. This shop looked like was from yesterday in the shop where I was, not that was already in 2008. As a matter of fact, lady says she was already in 2006. I should have asked, but not enough ambitious, but very good. Now, I didn't only promise for the task I will do, for which, by the way, again, I have indicated that 2010, and then it just, uh, happened so that 2015 in fact was a brainwash so these are just firm proofs about torture folks uh, I have also mentioned I would do the Trafica 
a little Trafica that is looks like completely new but back in 2003 uh, the store was just like an old store where you would buy yourself uh, I don't know lottery tickets and stuff like that whatever they were selling in that place we would stop in that place okay so this is going to be my next stop I said just as I have suggested all the way to 2004 2005 I don't know what am I going to ask probably 2005 I got also 100% shot for this one see it this again this is in the same street as this uh, police station and you can already see one right there on the right side you can see it right now I'm gonna zoom into it this thing is basically what I'm talking about and it looks like completely uh, you want to say renovated looks damn new but of course it was right here the same thing uh, more or less it looked the same absolutely the same thing all along 2003 2004 I remember one clearly but I think I asked for like 2005 whatever which is beautiful and this is yet another 100% shot so the next thing what I want to do is I want to go and I want to clear out the brainwash about the alcohol shop right there for which nobody wanted to tell me when the shop was open they in fact brainwashed me the Russians here I have to stop this thing here because this is extremely 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 bad most of the people were more than eager to help this people inside of the store however um did have a very very different intentions because when i did with a, such a purity right across the street and then again i have to ask myself about the polish police then i have again to ask myself about completely other issues that also involve people and we're talking about sincerity not of the politicians but other state departments and people alone these people would not folks even give me an answer like clear clear answer like was it the place open when i asked for 2010 was your business in 2010 did you have in 2008 business here they would not give me an answer and have pretended like stupid russians brainwashed you know what the russians brainwashed and it's what I also explained in my videos at the end. Russians brainwashed that story you're about to see next is where the business prior to this one here in 2017, therefore that this business that you see in this shop here is no more than just two years old. And like I said, the owners would not even give me an answer. I find out the truth from the shop that you have seen right there. That's a bakery shop right there that you have seen. That the shop, in fact, is already at least 10, 11 years old, meaning that it was already here in 2009, if not even 2008. So again, I was correct when I asked question um, inside of the store, but the people inside of the store would not want to give me the correct answer deliberately and we are talking about proximity of the very close proximity again of the police station so therefore it was a little bit more than just russians here it was somebody it was some polish people here it was the police department alone that did not work for them when i started to identify the stores when I walk down the road and I have identified one store after another so properly. 
So then they started to lie basically about when the stores were even open. Russians came up with idea that it was a pet shop in the store where I was that had moved in 2017 and you can hear this clearly on my video stating this to you in fact this is what it is they have moved from the location that you have seen to the following location look there is a police station right there on the right side you see it so that they have moved in 2017 to the location you are about to see next this is why i'm upset now you start to grasp now you start to understand why I am upset so that this is their new shop which they have opened in 2017 there is only one problem with it this shop really was open in 2017 this is true and so was this one here but I'll come back to this issue these two shops really were open in 2017 However, the problem is that I have primarily identified the shop correctly. And when you are lying to me in the face, even lying to me in the face, then you're really, really, really screwing up my confidence. You're really, really screwing up my picture. Therefore, the Russian torture, the Russian brainwash, beatings, electroconvulsive therapy, if you want to call this therapy, was not enough for the Polish police. We had to lie about it too. We had to lie about it too. So again, I was 100% correct about the alcohol shop and I was 100% correct about Zolog shop because I have stated it was in 2017. However, the shop, the shop that you have seen, the alcohol shop is not where the previous owner had moved to the location that you have just seen right now to the Zolog shop. The truth, however, is that, and for that matter, now I'm not going to use, I was going to go and use the big, bigger camera for that purpose. The truth is that the VCR tapes were inside of this shop that you see it right now, in this old shop, this alcohol shop. The truth is that Americans brought tapes from the US and they would give them the truth however is that this shop was nasty uh, they would have like a baskets literally on the floor laid down and they would have tapes inside and whatever they would have it was nasty uh, walls were not painted it looked old it looked everything was like nasty place and I never liked that place because in the first place I was not interested in any kind of movies and that kind of stuff was none of my interest. Uh, it had an odor in that store. And so Russians simply manipulated an idea to confuse me that in fact was a, simply a pet shop. The alcohol shop, the Spozhevchi shop, which I have suggested they have placed one because I would keep asking, I did, right at the entrance where you would go or where you would ask from the far away, what, where are we going now on this, I would always say, it's a, it's a grocery store at the entrance. It would certainly would feel like we were going to the small grocery store where you would have some fruits and stuff like this and bus, basically drink. And it was not. Finally, they got that shop, that tape shop, whatever they had, tapes, uh, gramophone plates, whatever. Finally, they get them out of there. Uh, and they did got this shop, alcohol shop, whatever else they sell in there. And ever since, they were doing really well. And this is what I was told. I was told that thanks to me, because I was keep asking about this type of the shop that you see right now they did this the shop before this one was so nasty that when they painted the wall there is like a cascade like this inside um, I would not even notice that beautiful cascade the way it's done 
but once they would paint it one, it would become so beautiful, white and evident. And so when I would come to that shop, uh, I had an idea that they have changed it, the whole interior because it was painted with a, such a beautiful white. Uh, it, it's bright, it's, it's a nice light uh, inside of the store that really places out that beautiful cascade, that wall, uh, that I really, I was pretty damn sure that they build that on new. This is how nasty the store before this one was. It was not difficult to make a mistake, get confused about the pet shop. And Russians have just used that since that store right there that you have seen, that pet shop open, Zoolog open in 2017. And again, I was correct. It was open in 2017, but because of the brainwash, which happened, however, right in front of the police station, I have lost myself into all the way, I don't know what I said, 2010. What is scary about all this is that lady that you have seen, in fact, if I go back, she is employed, it's, yeah, she is employed right next door of this shop, this here, you see, she is employed right next to this Zoolog shop. Let me just move a little bit. And you're going to see it. This is a very good... Uh, I moved too fast. But right, if I go back, this is the shop. This is a very good lady that had a very, very, very hard time watching me being tortured by the Russians on both location on the store that you see right there as well as the store next door on how both of them were open already i don't know when in 2010 um, had a very hard time and it's again you know it's too late when it's done when the torture is done it's just something that is just too late to cry about and I'm not saying that she is guilty in absolutely in any way. But basically what I'm trying to say is this is just right across the police station is basically what I'm trying to say. And as much as these people would like to help, the question here is now becomes how much are these people allowed to help? Remember this, folks, this is not in Russia. This is in the Poland and this is right in front of the police station. And in fact, I identify and people who were used for the setup and I in fact identify the scenarios, the setup scenarios which Russians have used to violently brainwash. And this is happening, this have happened in this street uh, where the police station is and some information was given to me, I'm pretty damn sure, thanks to the police which however was trying to use that kind of information i guess to get my trust because you know this is just not okay this stuff is simply not okay not okay for me to go and even ask this kind of questions try to find out about this create this kind of ordeal and seems to me more than anything have people really hard time to come forward with the truth this is what hurts the most. So who is here? What is here? Okay, so let's continue and we're going to go to the zoologist. I was shocked again. This is so shocking. This is the most shocking store of all the stores that I have seen so far that I had to do it with was the zoologist shop. Was it in 2010 zoologist shop? No, you're going to hear her saying not, it was in 2017, whatever she's saying, I don't even know what she's saying. 
Kinek čo je tu, to je za vaša trafíka, čo je tu. A to, že bylo tu 2005, 2004 latu. Chyba tak, my to od nedávna máme, ale na pevno vtedy bylo. 2004, therefore trafíka, little store, 100% correct, let's continue. Now let's go here about the Zolo shop. This is just as I have promised the case would be. Now, now let's go to the Zolo shop. This really broke me. This was a horrific shop right in front of the police station. And it was done in front of the police station like this. Make no mistake with the permission, with insistence of the police. And it was done like this with insistence of the police because it was a last act. It was the last place in the form of MK Ultra in the chain, in this whole evolution. This was the last place for me to come right there and ask, identify right that area. And it was done deliberately like this. And why it was done, you go and you figure out like this. All along throughout entire MK Ultra, there was only one thing. There's only one intention the Polish government had and basically get me violently out of the Poland. Allow me to file for political asylum and use genocide, which lasted no more than 20 years in Poland, as a way to keep me in area, searching for proofs and basically murder me. And now you get the idea about what happened right in front of the police station. So why was it done at the police station, in front of the police station like this? Make no mistake why that was done. Now you're getting the point why I'm angry, why am I upset about all this. It was not with the assistance of the, it was not with the, with the assistance of the Polish police done. Russians have not done this with assistant Polish police. Russians have done this with insistence of the Polish police on having it done this way. I'm confused. I can't believe really that. And so I keep asking around whether this was really in, in 2017 that this store was open. I have a, in another words, I got a trouble because I, I no longer know because of the intensity of the torture. I no longer know was it really the Russians that told me that it was open in 2017 since that that was a lie that was Zolok shop that moved from one location to this location or was it that was open in 2010 as Russians, supposedly were Russians, that brainwashed me that was open in 2010. You understand my frustration now? At least I recognized, just with the cases with the Tesco, one was 2015 and another one was 2010, which was the year of the opening, and this one here was 2017, which was the year of the opening, confused one with 2010, at least I recognize the years of opening of these businesses, but it's already what I have explained the cases. So there isn't much to, to no philosophy about this stuff. That's why I'm angry, that's why I'm upset. I'm confused, folks. I can't believe this thing, and so I go and ask other businesses. I want to know the truth, what's going on? You have no idea how hard this thing is. No, people are disappointed when they hear me, 2010 zoologist. You don't know how disappointed I am. And not about... that I would make a mistake or something like this, but about completely other issues. Not even about the politicians anymore.
It's already second shot, I ask this. Zoologist, two years only. Because the people lied. Because now the people they wouldn't lie. They, didn't, they just they wouldn't. They didn't give me the answer that I asked. This was the question that I asked them. Was it this store, your store, open in 2008, 2010? And you can go over the audio recording and you can hear this. They would not give me the answer, and I would return like three times to the store, try to get the answer for them, and they would still not give me the answer because the idea was to crush my self-confidence because I would go from one store and identify. And who knows better than police what is it that you are doing? Who knows everything about what I do? By coincidence, now I asked the lady about the shop. This is a baker shop that I have demonstrated to you earlier about the store across the street. And I'm talking about zoologists, about the Russian theory about zoologists that moved to the zoolog shop in 2017 and she tells me the alcohol shop that you see right there you're right it was open in 2009 maybe even 2008 you get it so that was also 100 percent shot it was a hit i was 100 percent correct about the alcohol shop that you have seen as well in at the end i'm going to give you one more time with the whole picture I'm going to tell you exactly what it is, but important for me now is the people that understand Polish, they understand basically what I am saying here. There was no zoology shop, no. no. There always was an alcohol shop. Imagine, imagine that you recall the place and somebody that works inside of the place just would not give you, that would give you exactly the same kind of crazy look and the same kind of question that you got on other locations, like when you made a mistake, like you'd say. Um, it would always be, I don't know, sir, I'm not sure how long the store is open. And this is exactly the same kind of answer I got when I asked the worker inside of this alcohol shop. And I, in fact, came back. I went for an hour walk and another hour walk, and twice I came back to ask, till I felt that lady doesn't want to see me asking her anymore. This is very difficult stuff, especially gets difficult like this. Let's continue. Always was an alcohol shop. And as I explained, they were they were selling the tapes, the VCR tapes and stuff like that, videotapes. One more time. This is very important for me to clarify. Zoolog shop only two years.
Anyhow, um, she um, she claims there was always was only alcohol shop. They were selling VCR tapes and stuff like that. Tapes. Uh, I proceed. I asked the gentleman along the road if he knows. Right across the street, right there. It's like a little trafika. He does not know. He say I'm not from here. The lady also doesn't know that it works at this trafika. But I go to the tra uh, I go to the bakery shop, which is right across this alcohol shop. And I get that answer. Now you start to understand why I got so upset about the police and why I got upset about other issues as well. Now you're getting the taste why. Bakery. Right across the street. Okay, she said, your alcohol shop, the one that they would not even give you the answer, is about at least 10, 15 years. I think the gentleman says 15, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in 2008, the alcohol shop, uh, alcohol